In any profession, it is important to have good tools, whether you're looking to build a house or start your own YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching all of you at home how to use my favorite plugin for Final Cut Pro. The tool that I'm gonna be teaching you today is called MTuber, and I have found this to be one of the most versatile effects packages that you can get for Final Cut Pro. And by that, I mean pretty much no matter what your subject matter is, this tool can help pretty much everyone. The big reason behind why I want to teach this class today is starting about a year ago, I started to offer a service where I would work with people who were looking to either grow or start their own YouTube channel. And I have recommended this product to so many people that I figured it's finally time that I did a tutorial on how to use it. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to use my top favorite six elements found within this piece of software known as MTuber. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. Now, for those of you out there who have never installed a third-party special effect from MotionVFX.com before, the first thing you're going to need to do is install the M installer. It's right there at the top of the website when you go to MotionVFX.com. So just click where it says learn more. It's gonna have you create an account and then just download the piece of software. M installer itself is free. You're only paying for effects that you buy through Motion VFX. Uh, and they actually do have some free ones too. So you can see here when it installs into your computer, you'll see the icon appear here at the top right corner of your screen. And when you click on it, you'll see all of your various effects here below. Keep in mind, whenever you install third-party effects into Final Cut Pro, you cannot be running Final Cut Pro at the time. So make sure that it's all quit out. Once you have that all installed, just go up here to the little search bar at the top right and type in the name of the product we're going over today, MTuber. Now, as a side note, for those of you who happen to explore this website and find other plugins that you find interesting, let me know in the comments section which ones you want me to cover and I'll be happy to do more in-depth tutorials. For those of you who've watched my videos over the years, you know one of the things I always like to do is give you little handy tips and tricks along the way. And one of the things I wanted to point out was the folder that you will see at the top right corner of my desktop, which is a folder called Assets. Now normally when I'm creating my videos, I do have an Assets folder. I don't normally keep it on the desktop. I usually keep it in Dropbox. That way I have it on all of my computers. Uh, but one of the things that I recommend to a lot of my clients is that they create this kind of a folder called assets. Because when you're creating your videos, there are certain things that you're probably going to need in every single video. So in my case, these are examples of assets that I keep. So I have my logo as a transparency in various formats. I actually decided to create one version of my logo that has the word subscribe on it. Uh, the reason for that is for those of you who create YouTube videos, you know how you can at the very end of your video have a subscribe button pop up but the thing is, is it doesn't say subscribe, it's just the logo of your channel. So I decided to actually put the word subscribe into that image. So that way people know actually what to do. There's plenty of other types of files you might wanna consider putting in that folder. Those are just the ones that we're gonna to need today. But if you ever want help building that type of assets folder, I would be more than happy to help you. Just sign up for a private lesson right through my website, techtalkamerica.com slash private lessons. Once you've installed MTuber, you will find all of your various options here in the Titles and Generators tab of Final Cut Pro. It's up here at the very top left, third tab in. And here you can see under Titles, we have MTuber. And so when we click on that, we can see the various effects that are available to us here. Today in this class, I'm gonna show you how to use my top favorite six. And I think you'll probably agree that these effects do work very similarly. So if there are other effects here that you want to learn, you'll really have already learned the tools that you need to make them happen. If you would bring your attention for a moment to the top right corner of my screen, the two different windows that we really need to have open for this are your inspector and your browser. Uh, the inspector is this panel here on the right hand side, the browser is the one at the top left. The first type of effect that we're gonna be creating is something called a lower third. This is most commonly used when you're introducing someone on camera and you want their name to appear, maybe along with a logo, and that's what we're gonna do right now. Now let's go over how to customize these various titles. I'm just gonna grab one and drag it right here on top of my timeline. 
And as you can see here, it put the title square right over my face. So obviously we're gonna need to make some adjustments to that. So now let's go over here at the top right to the inspector. And as you'll notice here, there are X and Y coordinates for the content position. Now I know a lot of people just type a number in here, but here's a much easier way to do it. Just click inside each of these fields and then drag up or down on your cursor and you'll see the text move. Next, let's bump the content scale down just a bit. And next, let's add our logo where it says logo right now. So this is where that file that I have in my assets folder is gonna come in handy. So now I already have the version with the white background, but for this, I'm gonna use the black version. So let's import that file by hitting Command I, and I'm just going to locate that particular file, and let's import it. So at this point, it's important that you have both your browser window and the inspector open at the same time because you're gonna need both of them. So let's click back into this section to uh, point it towards the logo. And now I will click on the file here in the browser window. So now you can see it has matched up the logo with the bar and we can click apply clip and there we go. Now we do still need to make some adjustments here. The logo is not quite proportionate. So let's go over here back into the inspector and let's bring down the logo inside scale. We can also adjust the logo scale itself. There we go, that's actually much better. Let's say I didn't want my logo to be on the right hand side. If I want to change it over to the left, I can change the positioning right here. As we scroll down further, you can see we have the options to swap out the text. So put in whatever it is you want. And as you'll see here, all of your font options are down below. Here's another handy trick that'll save you some time. Once you have perfected your title and you have it exactly the way you want it, if you then need another version of that, just click on it so that it's highlighted, hold the option key, and then drag that title either to the left or the right, and it instantly creates another copy. If you are looking to grow or start your own YouTube channel, one of the little tricks that you can use to grow your audience is by using these little callouts that tell people to subscribe to your channel. Typically your subscribers are the biggest part of your base, so you really wanna to try to drive that. You will see here built into MTuber, we have a very simple button that you can drag and drop right onto your timeline that tells people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Once again, if I wanna make any kind of adjustments, I just have to go up here into the inspector. So if I want to make it on the right-hand side, I can just drag the content position, play with the scale and all of those other options, once again, right here in the inspector. You have to give them credit at Motion and BFX. They make it very consistent in how their various products work. So you can really start to see here how once you learn how to use one of their products, it's very easy for you to learn how to use their other products. The next effect that I find a lot of people like is the zoom fragment feature, and I have used it a ton in the process of making this video. So this is a effect that you're gonna use whenever you want to zoom into a portion of the screen and then blur the rest of everything. So you're really trying to drive focus to a particular part of the screen. So to do this, let's just drag it and drop it on my timeline. Obviously in this case, I'm doing it in the context of a screen recording, but you could use this for really anything. When it comes to making adjustments to the zoom fragment, I just have to go over here to the inspector. You can see that in this case, I actually can drag and drop the box a bit and there are some on-screen controls to crop my image the way that I want it. Another tool you might wanna consider using here inside of this feature is the blur feature. So if you look down here at the very, very bottom, you'll see it says BG blur amount. I tend to set that feature to the max just because I really like to direct my viewers to a very particular part of the screen when I'm using this feature. The next tool that I'm gonna show you is how to create a very simple arrow, just so that anytime you need to point something out to people, you can. To do this, let's grab the pointer cursor from MTuber and let's drag it into our timeline. Now to make the adjustments, let's go up here to the inspector and usually the first thing I do is change the fill opacity to 100% just because the default option is clear. Once again, all of your options to change the positioning of your arrow are here on the right. So just change the positioning, the rotation and get it exactly the way you want it. 
The final feature that I wanted to spotlight here in MTuber are some of the titles options. I have used them all over the course of this video, and I've used them in my videos for the past, well, several months at this point. Uh, these are just really handy anytime you need to put some text on the screen. It just, it's a really clean format. Uh, there's usually an option to add a logo if you want. We've kind of already covered at this point how to do this. I've also found these to be very handy for some of my end screens. Uh, for those of you who make YouTube videos, you're probably aware that at the end of your videos, you have an opportunity to promote other videos on your channel that people can click into and then watch. And there's also an option with one click to get them to subscribe to your YouTube channel. So a lot of times what I will do is I will customize one of these. I'll make it say, thank you for watching. And here where we have the logo option, that is where that little handy graphic that I have in my assets folder is gonna come in handy. So let's swap out that logo. And ultimately what I will do is when this video is uploaded to YouTube, right where that graphic is, right where that subscribe button is, I will swap that out for the real subscribe button so that when people click into my video, by clicking that area, they subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just kind of a nice handy little trick. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And keep in mind that if you ever decide that you wanna start your own YouTube channel, YouTube channel consulting is one of the things that I do and it's become quickly my favorite thing to do. So if you'd like to hire me to help you build your audience, you can find out all of the information on my website at techtalkamerica.com slash private lessons. Thank you for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.